So they were filthy traitors? I mean, they were for the greater good. Alright, so this Necron Lord knows we are here. I do not want to get in a battle with the Necron Lord. We will fall back and see what they do. The greater good is for us all. It, yes, I agree when I am playing as Tau. This is an easy city to attack. It's right on this edge over here. We don't have to actually, like, you know, force our way through so many tiles. Oh boy. But that's a lot of damage. That is a lot. In 8th edition, you have to follow the keywords, but you can ally Imperium and Xenos if you're playing partner. Is okay with it. Okay. Oh my god. Hi. Alright. There are some Necrons in the city. There's the Guardsman. Hmm. Let's save your powers for last. Let's see what we can do with these. We need to get Gwen down here. Buffing all these heavy weapons teams with your accuracy and um, other things. Up. Crack grenade. Shell it. Alright, so this force, I think right here, should be enough to take out the, that city now. So everyone else can focus on this uh, other city that has a lot of Necrons in it. We don't have the damage buff up quite yet. So we will use our Tech Priests. These Bulgrins, we want to move and shift over this way. I think we need to clear out some of these units first before we try and focus on the city itself, because they have a lot. Uh, let's try and see if we can take out this Annihilation Barge. Have I met the Space Marines yet? Uh, yes, we met them, and we said hi. They called us traitors, so we murdered them. Because clearly they were influenced by chaos. Fire superiority for the win. Yeah, I mean, this is the reason you play IG, right? A whole bunch of awesome tanks. And hordes and hordes of throwaway troops. Oh, you're talking about the Tau. Basilisk's positions will murder Tau. Get out of here. Tau is not the better IG. Tau is the. Tau is all about that anime. And like, waifus on pillows. Oh, 
Oh, hey, we can build something. We should probably build a, a thing that gives us ore. Hmm. But that is a farm tile. Okay, hold on. Let's go to another city. Uh, nope. Can't build it here. Oh, that's right. We don't have a third city to build, so... Do we have an orb? We do. Alright, so we're going to spend some of our resources to grab a tile that's going to give us a lot more ore, because I really want that. Because obviously the food situation is not really killing us. We need the food to increase our population growth, but... It's not... Super critical. What is wrong with that? Nothing is wrong with that. I wasn't saying as if it was wrong. Alright, let's see if we can take out these uh, destroyers. Uh, the answer is yes. Hold on. Can we take them out with the Bulgrins, though? The answer is yes. Okay. Uh, hello, Sard. Sard, your call? Uh, yes, I have taken out the uh, Spice Marines. They were the first ones to go. I guess that means we... Oh, we can level up. We will maelstrom their uh, capital. Whew, you took a lot of damage from that city. We need to pull you back. And then we need to get Gwen in right there. And then we need to... Hmm... Get our ba um, basilisks up here. And then Gwen is going to say, bring it down, giving all weapons around us plus six to armor penetration. And then we're going to bring it down. Boo, let's upgrade Rose's damage. We will keep shelling. Daryl's move down. Borgans move up and around. Twenty-one damage, that's huge. Hammer of Wrath, let's go! Damn right, Bulgrins. Put you up into rapid fire range, let's also throw out some crack grenades. of wrath and bring it down let's go uh, hello crusader how are the guard doing uh, much better than we were doing towards the end of the last stream where we were fighting off Hordes and hordes of enslavers. That is for sure.
Let's use our scout. Okay. All quiet on the western front over here. Cities. Skip. And we need to wait for our other city to acquire more tiles. This may be the last enslaver we need to kill for the mission. How's the gameplay? Is it a lot like Civ 6? It's basically if you just had the wars from civilization. Because there is no diplomacy, there is no religion to worry about. Um, it's just making military units and fighting each other. But it is a lot of fun. For me, at least. Uh, now we have a damage buff available from Quanian. But it's going to be kind of hard to reach you. You go into the outpost to uh, heal up. Alright, we need to finish this thing off. Yeah, sure. Scarlet's gonna do it. Psycho powers go! Wait, wait, wait. We didn't actually kill. I, I, oh my god, they didn't actually kill him. What the, the hell? Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't want to use one of my heavy weapon teams to finish you off, so. do here? Oh, I guess Kwani can't hit this anymore. Alright, well then Kwani will finish. What? You're still alive? Is this a joke? Oh, shoot. They're going to take damage in there. How in the hell... All right. We want to try and gather around Kwani so that they can buff up the damage, but... Not going to be this round, it looks like. Shell. Are there a lot of factions to choose from? Uh, right now there's only four. They said they're working on others, but they didn't say which ones. It's the Necron, Space Marines, Imperial Guard, and Orcs. Grin, uh, Gwen, you just stay there. Let's get up closer so we can rapid fire. Actually, I probably should have made room for the Bulgrins. Whoops. Upgrade Rose's damage. The defenses keep hitting Cheery, but you just keep out healing them with the natural regeneration we have right now. Alright, so now we can build some more up there. And then maybe we can finally start thinking about making another... Oh my goodness, I never re-grabbed this outpost. That sucks. 
I still need to, need to build our void port so we can get our aircraft. How much does it take to destroy a capital? Uh, it, a few turns of all of these good units attacking it. It, it takes a little bit. Like, we have a pretty massive army here. <gasps> Bane Blade has been researched. Let's see. It has Auto Cannon, Bane Blade Cannon, Apocalyptic Blast. Scales the damage with the group size of the enemy. Oh, it, it's off of uh, frag castings. Interesting. Increases armor penetration. Okay. And then a twin linked heavy bolter. Only one? It has three guns? That's it? On a Bane Blade? That's a ton of hit points. Upkeep 16 ore. But how much is it to make one of those? We would need 320 ore. I have 8. I have 8. There we go. We just got the city there. Level up. These damn enslavers. Oh. And there we go. That was the last enslaver for that quest. So we finally get the Aegis Harness, which is an artifact. What does this do? Blocks the damage and effects of the next enemy's psychic power against the units. Three turn cooldown. Okay. The psychic power? We'll give that to Gwen. Jesus, that was the last unit. Just hanging out way down here. Oh well, at least that's over with. Let's repair our basilisk. Hmm. I just move up. There we go. Necrons are gone. Now we just got to finish off these units who are now neutral. Whew. Necron down. One more to go. And the Traitor Guardsman. Feels good to kill these because they've been hounding us for a while. Our superior flashlight technology has won the day. Take all their apples. See, so yeah, we're going to need to come down in here, take all these, and just keep going this way, I guess. Hello, Arclight. Welcome. Level up. Maelstrom. Very nice. I will take that.
Research. Bane Blade, Last Cannon. Gives them an extra Last Cannon. Man, we're not going to be getting a Bane Blade for so long. Let's just do additional Heavy Bolters. See, I should have one of these. These Marauder Bombers. Oh, God. I don't really want to kill any of these units because I want them to fight each other still. Chapter 6. The Tech Priest has betrayed you. Why, you don't know. Perhaps he was always loyal to Mars. Perhaps the Whispers of Heresy penetrated his mind. Whatever the reason, he has made his escape while you were busy building palaces and battling foes. Your scouts have located his hiding place. He has installed an artifact on an off-world gunship, apparently hoping to punch through the warp storm with it. You must stop him before he does. Beware, though. His Castilian war machines are amongst the best ancient Martian technology can produce. This will be a hard fight. The Tech Priest and his machines stand ready for battle. Defeat the Rebel Tech Priest and his contingent of elite robots within 20 turns, and then... Oh, this is the end of the game. I mean, I suppose we could do a quest... Oh, Jesus. Um. Uh, okay. Are these going to be advancing on my cities? Or will they just stay put? Like, if they stay put, I'll just leave them in this corner. Um. Man. Why is it that the quests are harder than the AI? Oh man. If they don't advance, then we'll be fine. We'll just kill the other two AI. Oh my god. If that AI army advances on me, then I may be screwed. It's fine, don't worry. I mean, I'm slightly worried.
I'm not gonna take this time to get drawn into a fight with the Necrons. So it looks like this army just sits here. <sighs> but now I kind of want to fight them though. Because I think that's going to be more of a challenge than fighting the other two AI races. It's gonna take us a few turns to get over there. Let's try and grab a, a couple more outposts, though. All right, I guess just just that one. We are going to need everything. Have I ever played D&D? &D? Yeah, sure. Many times. Oh, they have to go all the way around that way? Nah, I just go this way then. Luckily, we do still have an artifact that increases our movement by one, so we'll get there a little faster than normal. So many units. But we're coming for him. The only place for traitors are six feet under. Or just the running corpses out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, hello, Maxar, welcome. Pity we lack a Bane Blade. Yeah, we're not going to get a Bane Blade out. That is not going to happen. I mean, really, we should, probably should just be doing um, queued up orders at this point since we have so far to go. Skip, skip. Whew. 
Okay, we do not want to start the fight until we are fully ready. We need our armor division up here. We need the Basilisks uh, being buffed up by Quanian. Oh, sorry to hear that, Rose. That is a terrible feeling. Hello, Happy Diplomat. I wonder if we start firing if they're going to start advancing. I probably should not fire until we are ready. Far to go. Uh, why not? Let's make some more orb facilities. Uh, hello, Snuffle. Welcome. Hey, just in time. Alright, we need to worry here about, um, organization. So we're going to have our armor in the center. No time to organize? We got, what, 15 turns? Is that... Well, actually, that may not be enough time. Hmm... I'm not going to advance our tanks yet, though. I need them to advance together and then apply a smoke screen. Start shelling. Jesus, these things are gonna take so much. So far back. <sighs> Research.
Let's do Kraken Bolts. Well, I guess it has started. Oh my god, what? Oh, all of their units have Seeker Missiles. Oh my god. Wow. So, three basilisks are gone? Holy shit. That's... That's a bit much. Okay. Huh. Why not? Imperial Bastions, sure. Hunter killer missiles on all of these hydras are, uh, that's a lot. That's a really murderous right there. Uh, take care of these eggs. The hell do we even do here? Life Leech. There's no way I'm gonna kill all of these. There's just no, there's no way. All right.
Oh boy. Uh, this is the final quest for the Astro Militarum. And it's, uh... It's pretty intense. There goes Yazak. Alright, so you know, from now on, we're not doing quests. We're just... We're not doing quests. This is... Fucking insane. Let's see, Hammer of Wrath. I guess unless you're totally ready for this, but I would need... God, I don't even know, like, ten more Bulgrins, ten more Basilisk Cannons. Like, I just needed more. A lot more than what we have. A lot more. What are the odds you make it? Zero percent. Zero percent. Maybe if you snipe the tech priest? Um... It says defeat the tech priest and his contingent of elite robots. But may maybe? I don't have anything that can make it to him, though. Uh, let's try and focus fire. And like all of our units are shaking and stuff, so we're doing even less damage than normal. Heal up. Actually, this is what we needed. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I should have done summary execution. That's what I should have done before this started. Shit. I just I haven't had to use it at all this entire game. I didn't think about it. That would have helped our damage output. It's not going to be enough, is it? Nope. We can't do enough damage to this thing to kill it. Alright, throw crack grenades on this then.
Okay, well, let's do a summary execution. There we go. We rallied. We'll do a little bit more damage than we would have otherwise. Shuri, I need you to execute these people. There we go. Ride our Bulgrins. Psychers, they just die so fast. Heal up. Move up here, that way we can start um, using some psychic powers from the forest. Uh, let's see Mac, hello Earthshaw. Aren't those our robots? Not anymore, buddies. I'm thinking about building another Bastion. Uh, hello, Illu. Okay. Quest expires in 12 turns. We are in a um, pretty dire situation here. I've killed, like, three, I think, so far?
Have any named characters die? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there goes Boo. Move you back so we can get the Volgrins in here. Uh, let's go after this. That won't kill it. But together with those, they may. We managed to kill a couple. That's, that's you know, progress. Is it possible to win this? Probably not. They outnumber us and they have overall better units, I feel. I don't think they can destroy us in 11 turns, though. So that's, you know, some good news. If our economy wasn't total crap, um, this could have been a different outcome. Oh, is that the dude? Tech Priest Betrayer. These robots were a little less tanky. That would help us greatly. I'd appreciate it.
Uh, let's see. Cherry, you can bring it down. Gwen, ah, oh, you can't finish it. Wait, me, can you? No, that's four points. You won't, you won't finish it. Shit, gotta try though. Oh, yeah, they did finish it. Nice. There we go. Uh, we should probably at least fall back into the city so we take less damage. Roll over them? Let's do a roll over them attack. Let's take this unit back in the city. We're gonna need to keep them around to um, probably summarily execute later. That kind of sounds messed up. <laughs> oh my god. No! Oh wait, but you can res though, right? There we go. Wayne's back. Gwen is dead. Gwen has fallen. Oh boy. I mean, it's for the good of all. But I'd rather sacrifice these guards. Hold on. Summarily execute. You fight to the bitter end. Oh, you're not dead yet, Rose. The enemy has been ignoring the tanks. Because the the tanks just take so less damage. Let's move you up and see if we can finish that off. There we go. Oh man, I should have buffed our damage first. Shit.
Cherry, you hold on. <sighs> Keep attacking. Level. Collectors are not bothering anymore. Uh, we got past that quest, Roland, which then led us to this nightmare. Hey, the good thing is our food's starting to free up so we can make more guards now. Like what sucks that they sniped our fucking basilisks in the first round because of all those hunter killer missiles that have I think of a range of ten, and they also sniped our um, tech pre squads. Like the AI knew what it was doing. Crack grenades, go! I'm hoping we can save up the ores to buy, at least buy a Bane Blade or something. The betrayer is just right up there now. Kraken bolts are here. <sighs> How many people can shoot you? So we have... They have 17 hit points. You do 2.2. Maelstrom does 3.8. That does 1.4. Those are the only units that can target them. I don't think I can even destroy him. Oh. 
But we can try. My guess is that we do damage to him, but then he's just going to run back here behind this wall of robots. Just so many. Yeah, that's right, point one damage. Hammer of Wrath. Holy crap, if you invested in an air force against this army, Jesus. That would suck for you. Camo netting would have been pretty good. A little late. Uh, it would suck because their army is half Hydra um, tanks, which would be able to blow your airports out of the air. I think you still have your res, Cheery. Nope, nope. They already went through your res. Cheery is dead. Battle tank gone. Where have they gotten Hydras? Uh, because the quest gave it to them. It gave him half of a force of Castilian robots and half a force of Hydras. Well, let's get into that city tile. That's not going to do much. All we got left. <laughs> oh my god, we had a vast army, and this is this is it. Where did the tech priest find the time to build all of this? Beastimon is not long for this world.
Farewell, Beastimon. Okay. Fight this thing. And then we have this one squad of heavies out here. Onions under half. Just sniping all our heroes. Actually, they've killed everybody else. Not really sniping at this point, they're just mass murdering. And this is with the city defensive bonus, the smoke screen defensive bonus, the hero defensive bonus, and you're still taking this much. Just because that's how many people are out there. Like, you're about as tanky as you're ever going to get. You have one more round. You have one more round. <laughs> Fuck it! Charge them! I thought we had a pretty good chance of at least having an army after all this is done, but I was I was wrong. Like look, some of them are just like, ah forget these people, now we're just gonna move on to the rest of the world. Look at this, these armies have been, have leveled up to max level from killing our army. Yeah, the last tank is named, it's uh, Rhodes. No, my scout sentinel is dead. My scout sentinel was one of the first ones died right here. Hey, but we got camo netting though. Hell yeah. Alright, uh, let's see. Rose. A lot of targets out here. Um. Take that on your way out. Research. What could we grab? Rights of the Machine Spirits. <laughs> In turn.
Well, the city is about to fall. And when that does, you lose your defensive bonus of being in the city. Alright, the city fell. Now you just have your smoke screen. You are literally surrounded. <laughs> Cannot get out of this situation. I mean, just look at all this damage you are absorbing, though. The battle tanks with the smoke screen. Some of the hardy tanks. Well, I'm going to say with some confidence, this is your last turn. Um... They fucked up! Oh, wait. Oh, right, you're fine. They fucked up! They fucked up! Ha ha! With one last defiant... Ro oh, actually, these people are still around, too. Um... All right, there we go. One last to find Rory took out one more. That's probably not good. We're done for. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, there it is. You had one more shot in you. We technically have one more unit left. Let's claim an outpost and fight behind the walls. Oh, Jesus. Alright. <clears throat> well. That's, uh... That's it. Now, technically, we're not going to lose. They're not going to destroy us in one turn, right? We could probably bounce back from this, because the Astro Militarum and the Necrons are fighting each other, which would give us... I'm going to say this is the end of this campaign. We had our last stand. We, we lost. Defeat, actually. Holy shit. Deep beneath the estate Imperium, amidst the city-like bureaucracy that is Terra Administratum, here is a, an ancient servo skull inches above cluttered, dust-caked shelves, casting light for a shuffling scribe. The scribe finds the archive he is looking for and extracts an ancient data slate. With the stroke of his stylus, he puts a line through Gladius Prime. He pauses for a moment and, in a shaky hand, annotates the entry. Gladius Prime, main planet of the Gladius system, Segmentum Obscurus, Ixania Sector. Colony lost to warp storms following the formation of the Cicatrix Maledictum, 999.m41. 
May the Emperor have mercy on their souls. So you do lose the game if you don't kill them within 20 turns. It's not this is a chance to win. It is you lose if you don't do it. Picard, you have lied to me. You said that this is just a chance to win. You don't, that you don't have to actually kill them. I mean, it's fine in this case because we lost. Now it's going to end the campaign anyway. Um, but Picard, you lied to me? Uh, let's see. So we were uh, we were doing pretty good. We were basically on par with the other two remaining factions, and then the quest hit, and then. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, wait! I'm blue. Hold on. Oh wait, shit! We were down here. Never mind. Let's see the military bar. And where is there? It is. That's pretty steep fight. I was at top of the military, and then the quest killed us. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so F the quest lines. We're just gonna be focusing, I think, on, um, on killing other players, because damn unless I think I'm ready for it what's the one more turn option I assume it allows you to keep playing if you want to uh, let's see yeah wait hold on but we don't even control the city this is a neutral city it looks like never mind no, that, that is us yeah, I don't know we lost so what did the enemy have? They had a small Necron army there. Some forces spread out across. Asher Militarum had some battle tanks. Basilisk, a couple flyers. Uh, so this is an obelisk? Okay. Looks like the enemy did not have a Tesseract vault, though. Weird. They have an obelisk and a satan, but they didn't ever combine them. Alright. Well, friends, I think that's going to do it for the stream, everybody. We lost. <laughs> then you just have a whole bunch of these things in the corner of the map. We got destroyed. Thanks for watching the stream, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.